let me show you that this is an actual principle. God, he says, I loved you so much that I gave you my only begotten son. God himself paid a tithe. A part of him was given unto us. It was replanted unto us. That that very same seed is able to bear more Christians, Christ-like people. God himself. So this thing, it's not coming with the law. It's coming, it's an actual principle that came from the beginning when God said, let us make man in our own image and own likeness. When you look at the whole entire earth, it is a part of, it is a seed on its own. It is a tenth of what actually heaven looks like. Anyone that has been in heaven, anyone that has had, you know, the near death experiences and all of that, they will tell you that they, 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 they've, they've seen the grass there. They've seen the mountains. They've seen all of the things that we have here. But when you look at them there, they are all in their fullness. When you come here and you begin to look at just, you look at the tabernacle on its own. It is a tenth of what God has. Got a tenth is an, it, oh my God, it is a seed that is in, in fullness on its own. But when it begins to bear, it does not bear one, it bears multiplication. So when I say to you, Go and pay your tithe. And mind you, I'm not telling you to come to me and pay your tithe. I'm saying pay your tithe because it is to your benefit. It's not to my benefit or to your pastor's benefit or to anybody else. Even God says to the servants of God, once you have received their tithe, you need to put in your tithe as well. Because there is that perpetualness towards that seed. A seed must always remain. Ah, people of God. A seed must always remain. If you eat the fruit and the seed itself, it's done. There is nothing else. That's what the Lord is saying. Or can you rob me? If you think you are robbing me, it's so it's such a shame because you are robbing yourself. <laughs> 